you really hungry? Have you really hungry? Huh? I mean, if you're hungry, you'll run Berkeley over, find a loaf of bread. That's true. Then you'd inquire, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd search, wouldn't you? Huh? That's right. Find bread. Why? You're hungering for bread. Amen. And if you don't have a hunger in your heart for God, you're going to hell for not having it. Not having it. Didn't know that. Some people say, well, the folks never heard him. They don't have to give him the kind of, oh, yeah. You ought to be hungry. That's right. You ought to be hungry. You ought to be hungry. That's right. Huh? That's right. Full of hunger. <coughs> Amen. And being hungry, you'll search. Hmm? That's right. Amen. The old coon comes out of the tree and search around. Hunger makes him do it. Mm. Isn't that right? That's right. Search for the fish. Search for the corn. Look for something. Right. Why? He's hungry. Jesus said, he that hunger and thirst after right shall be filled. Amen. And if you're honest in heart, anybody in the world tonight that is honest in heart and hungering for God, want to obey their maker. Amen. Just thirsting after rights. God won't let you go continue thirsting. No. Amen. He won't let you stay hungry forever. Amen. He said he wouldn't. That's right. He said they shall be filled. Yeah. Didn't he say so? Yeah. So then uh, everything ought to contact me. That's right. Everything in the world ought to contact me. Yeah. Everything. Amen. Amen. If they don't know, somebody say, well, they don't know nothing about you, but God do. Yes. That's the trouble. Of God knows. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Listen what he said. Uh, let us read the 10th chapter of Acts. Let us see here. I want to show you something. Nobody will be let out. Nobody. Nobody under the sun now because it's in your day. It's here now. Right. Since it's here, and everybody's got to give an account for it being here. Amen. What did Jesus say? This is condemnation. Yes. yes. That light, light is come. Is come in the world. That's right. Isn't it says that? Yes. And what? Men love darkness. Men love darkness rather, rather than light because their deeds, because their deeds are evil. Amen. Anybody with evil <laughs> deeds is not hunting for light. No. Nobody wants to go outside undressed. Huh? No. Amen. Uh, I mean all together. It goes out partly undressed now, but I mean all together. Amen. They're hunting around for a dark place. Nobody walks out in the public but them that is well dressed. Huh? Amen. Amen. They come out to the light. Don't want no light on in the room. Amen. If anybody can look in there. If you're not dressed, Jesus says, this is condemnation. Amen. The whole world is condemned. Yeah. Amen. And why the reason it is condemned is because light is here. Amen. Huh? That's right. Amen. Light is here and been here. Amen. Praise God. Jesus brought it. Amen. And they rejected the light and went in dark. Amen. Huh? Amen. So Jesus says, this is condemnation. That light has come into the world. Why? Because men love dark rather than light. Look how many people got up last night after I opened up the Bible. Made it plain. I couldn't make it no plain. Amen. Everything I ever subject I dealt with, I made it plain. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Plain. Open it up and plastered it. Yeah. Thank God so you could look at it. Yeah. And look how many got up and walked out and rejected water baptism. In Jesus' name, just marched out. Why? Those people love dark. That's right. Rather than light. Right. Because the deeds are evil. Amen. That's the reason they walked out. Somebody going to walk out tonight. Mm -hmm. Not going to obey. Why? Love dark. Love dark. I can't. I couldn't do that. I couldn't stop doing this and stop doing the other. Amen. And give up this and give up that and give up the other. I couldn't do that. They love darkness. Yes. Amen. And because they love darkness, they're going to reject the light. That's right. When they reject the light, praise God, it's because they're deep to evil. That's right. Amen. An evil. Jesus said, an evil and adulterous generation. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Reject 
the counsel of God. Amen. You're not rejecting me. Amen. Amen. I'm not here proselyting. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm not here trying to get something. I'm here to bring you something. Amen. Somebody put it out that when you come over, you have to turn everything you've got over to me. Turn everything you got over to me. All of your, uh, or if you got an automobile, all your automobile and your property and land and everything, you have to turn it over to me. Now the devil don't believe that lie himself. Amen. I mean, he don't believe that lie. Even though it's told it, <laughs> but it don't believe it. Amen. But that's something to try to throw something in the way of this good gospel I'm preaching. That's all right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Which is eternal life, Amen. eternal happiness, Amen. eternal joy, eternal peace. Amen. And the one that accepts it and abides by it will never be sought. Amen. Amen. But the devil will throw that out that you got to give me everything. Amen. I never ask nobody for nothing. I'm not a beggar. Amen. I have many members, many, many. Amen. And I've never asked not a member of mine for a nickel. Amen. Now there are people that are uh, saints. We have members that just want to give, not to me, to the church. Amen. Because I don't let them give nothing to me. Properties and all, I say, give it to the church. There are some that want to give their properties to the church. Amen. Or any time folks bring the deeds to me, I said, I want to give my property to the church. And the will it over to the church. Well, that, they do that of their own free will. Amen. Amen. Uh, I had a letter from uh, Ohio. Uh, West Virginia, and uh, they were writing to me, and the lawyer wrote me and said, somebody wanted to will some property to the church. Well, I didn't know who it was, so uh, he sent me the forms to fill out, and I turned it over to my lawyer, and he got in touch with it. There were some people, uh, saints, that had been baptized under us years ago. Amen. And they owned uh, some fine property in Charlestown, West Virginia, and they will everything. I didn't know the folks who were living. They will everything to the church, and that often happened. Amen. I had a man that called me up in Philadelphia, a white man, and uh, he said, uh, I hear you brought here. He said, I want to will you something. Well, uh, always pranks. And I didn't think anything of it. He said, I guess you think it's funny that somebody called you up, never seen you, and want to give you something. He said, but uh, come out to my place. And they gave him his name, address, telephone number. And he lived in Elkins Park. And I had my chauffeur to drive me out. So when I got there, he told me how he heard the broadcast and said, I want to will you something. And they're taking me through his house, man, wealthy man, wealthy, plenty. And he wanted to will it to me. And I speak the truth in Christ, and lie not, and I don't want to get off of this pulpit alive if I'm lying. I said to him, I said, I'm a preacher. He has children, and he said, if my children stick up, I'll just fix it so they can get a dollar. I said, now, I'm a preacher, and I'm out to save souls, Mr. Wakeman. His name is Andrew Wakeman. I said, then, if you died, I wouldn't go in court to fight with your children for what you have if you will me a million. I told him that. And uh, he says, you leave it to me. I said, well, who is your lawyer? I told him who my lawyer was. He got in touch with my lawyer, and he went down. I said, don't will it to me. I said, will it to the church. Amen. Don't will it to me, will it to the church. And he went down. I have proof. We can get in touch with my lawyer. Can I pack up 53176? He'll give you the same story. 
I'm not outside. And they will many thousand dollars and much property to the church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. He wanted with it to me. Most preachers would have took it in a second. Amen. I told him, don't will it to me. Will it to the church. Amen. He's got it fixed. So when he passes on, it'll fall to the church and nobody will have to go in court and fight for nothing. And many has turned over thousands of dollars worth of property to the movement. Amen. Not to me. Amen. Amen. I'm the president. I'm the founder. I'm the builder of it. Amen. Amen. But to turn it over of their own accord. Amen. But I don't ask nobody for a nickel. Some man said he heard it. He thought to come, but he heard that they had to give me everything, and he backed up. That was the devil. Amen. But he would have God that he'd own Norfolk. He'd have turned all of Norfolk over. Amen. Huh? Amen. He would have God. Amen. We're not asking for nothing. I'm not hungry. Amen. My God, I'm giving out thousands of dollars to save you. Amen. Amen. Ella Mills got an offering for the radio broadcast. Amen. And an offering to sustain us while we're here, which we greatly appreciate. And we thank you that did. And the Lord will bless you for it. But I didn't tell him to ask for anything. Amen. 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 Didn't tell him to ask for anything. You still get the broadcast. Amen. You was getting it before you knew me. Amen. You tuned in and heard that thing, and nobody asked you for a penny. That's what you And you kept on getting it. Amen. And yet never asked for a penny. Amen. And we've been on around 16 years. I never asked nobody for one cent. Amen. Amen. And the many thousands of dollars we spent a year. Amen. My God, just one year. Amen. I wouldn't have to worry no more forever. Amen. Amen. Just one year. Amen. Amen. That's all. Amen. Amen. So we're not coming seeking yours. Amen. But we're seeking you. Amen. Amen. That you might be saved. Amen. Amen. You just do what I tell you. Amen. Amen. That's all. Amen. 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 You do what I tell you to do. Praise the Lord. I haven't told you to sell your property. No. Amen. Have I? No. no. And give it to me? No. I haven't told you to will me now. Amen. Have I? No. No worry about what I haven't told you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. The thing you need to worry about is what, what I told, told you. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. That's the devil. That's right. Got for worrying about what I haven't said. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 I've given no such commandment. No. Praise the Lord. Amen. You just worry about Bishop told me that that's not my wife. That's right. <laughs> that's right. I got enough man. Amen. Huh? Amen. Bishop told me that's not my husband. You worry all that. Amen. Bishop said I shouldn't have a television. Yes. Yeah. Bishop said I shouldn't go to a hairdressing. Wow. Bishop said I shouldn't wear air bobs and air rings and toes out and heels out and nylon uh -huh. Uh -huh. and paint my lip. What about that? That's right. And the devil is a mess. Amen. He is. Yes, he is. He is a mess, folks, worrying about what I have to say. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You're not transgressing because no law been given. Amen. Huh? Amen. Where well, there's no law, there's no transgression. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you heard about I haven't been baptized in Jesus' name. That's right. <laughs> and I haven't got the haven't Holy got Ghost the Holy speaking Ghost in speaking tongues. Tongue. <laughs> and if I die without it, Bishop say I'll go to hell. Amen. Huh? That's right. That's what I want you to worry about. That's right. And if you start worrying about that now and get serious, by the time I'm through tonight, <laughs> Minister Daniel will have a big job. Yes, he will. <laughs> Huh? Amen. That's what you worry about. Don't worry about me taking what you got. Amen. I don't need what you have. Amen. Amen. And if I needed it, you wouldn't know it. Amen. When I did need, nobody knew it but God. Amen. I made my needs known only to God. Amen. That's all. Amen. I didn't go around begging. I never asked nobody for a nickel in my life. Amen. Since I've been in the ministry. Amen. Not in my life. Since I've been in the ministry, never asked nobody to lift an offering for me. Help me go nowhere. Let me run a meeting for you. <laughs> I don't ask that. 
I build my own church. Amen. 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 God, I'm an independent preacher. Amen. Yes, I am. I'm an independent preacher. I am blessed. God, I don't uh, depend on nobody but God. Amen. Whatever I need, I go to God. Amen. And the Lord has blessed me with enough to give you. Amen. Eh? Amen. Because I'm giving you the gospel. Amen. Praise the Lord. Giving you the gospel. We spent the help us of two hundred thousand dollars the last twelve months. That would be enough to take care of me. Amen. Wouldn't it? Amen. 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 That's twelve months. Go back and get all the years. Amen. Amen. Some preachers would go to hell backward before they see that money go up. Amen. <laughs> That's the truth. Right. All that kind of money. You seen the money that is pushed off of my desk? That's the truth. Every Monday morning? That's the truth. For the others of 25 broadcasting stations. Right. And the wire charge causing me from a thousand to upwards of $1,200 a month just for the wires that reach the station. Uh -huh. Not paying for them. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> then I have to pay. So that's a whole lot of folks don't get a thousand dollars a month. That's true. I could leave off the broadcast and just take that thousand a month. Yeah. I could live very good. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. But the thousand, own thousand oh, wow. that we spend weeks and months. That's right. Putting it out just like we're giving out newspapers yeah. in order to reach you and tell you the truth. Amen. 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 And they all say, not a broadcasting station can crump tonight. Amen. I tell you, God is the one. Amen. Not one can crump. They're writing to me, hearing other broadcast stations telling uh, other stations about me. Amen. And they're writing to me and say, we'd like to have your program because I'm a good payer. Amen. That's what they ain't bothering about the program. <laughs> And more than about the program, I pay well. Yeah. Good pay. I just send out checks. Send them out. Praise God and pay everybody. Pay them in advance. Amen. And nobody can grunt. Not a station can grunt. Amen. And say he don't pay his bills and he's behind. Not one. Amen. And think of the thousands of dollars that rose up in order to get the gospel to you. Amen. Now, if God hadn't fixed me up like that, <laughs> And it only takes God to fix it. That's the truth. And nobody under the sun could fix it. That's the truth. Huh? It only takes God because everybody loves money. Amen. Everything loves money. <laughs> and God has delivered me from the love of money. Amen. Huh? And yet I can see it going out like shucks. Amen. Amen. Just like newspapers. Amen. That's Praise right. God. Pile up on my desk Amen. every Monday morning to go to the bank. Amen. And all of that we might write checks for thousands of dollars. Amen. Amen. That you might hear the gospel without money and without price. Amen. Because God told me to get on the Amen. Amen. God Almighty told me to get on. Amen. And I got on one and now I'm blessed. God, we're covering all America. Amen. I'm going out. Amen. Amen. Praise God. In the time in the border paid more than $300 an hour for one station. One station. $300. And how long it took an hour to go? <laughs> 300 That's one station. Amen. 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 Thank God. God would have to be in it or else he would be double crazy. Yes. <laughs> Amen. So the devil needn't to put that out. All right. Praise God. Amen. And in spite of all that, God has given me strength. Amen. Amen. I am uh, still living. Thank God and have more than I could ever use. Amen. If I did it, kept it from myself. But I give it out for you. That you might hear the gospel. Somebody asked, a uh, white man asked one of the brethren in Delaware, said, what does he do with all his money? Say he gives it to you all every Sunday morning. Amen. <laughs> That was a good answer. That was a good answer. Give it to you every Sunday morning. Yeah. Now I'm laboring for the salvation of souls. I know the world is lost, and I know the world is wrong. And nobody, nobody living, no preacher under the sun, is able to certify the gospel that he has preached to you. I've condemned it publicly. Somebody said, there was a preacher here last night to see me. And I wouldn't talk with him. <laughs> he didn't want me to talk with him either. No. 
Hey Amen. What I know about these preachers around here, they come here and want me to just show up. That's all. Send a note out. That's right. Say, I'm here to condemn your doctrine. Prove according to the Bible to the people that you're wrong. Yeah. Then I'll take him on. Yeah, that's right. But I don't know you. Amen. You're here and ready for business, I'm ready. Amen. I stay ready. Amen. And I say it isn't a gospel in nothing. Not one. Did you hear me? Amen. Not one that is able to say. Everything is wrong, not only Norfolk, but the whole world. Amen. Whole entire world is wrong and lost and on the way to hell. So I say, if you're honest, nobody's going to be excused. Nobody. No. Amen. The people don't accept this thing because they know what it's all about. Yeah. They understand. Yeah. My God, if I get in that, I can't straighten my hair, can't wear hair bars, I can't wear uh, nylon, can't toes out, can't go to movie, can't sweetheart, can't stay with that woman, can't stay the man. Yeah, they don't look through it. <laughs> they don't look through it. It doesn't take them long to look through it. They understand. Yeah. Uh, then them false churches don't bother. You can do anything you please. Amen. He is after your soul now. No. What he's after is money. Amen. As long as you pay your dues, that's all he's interested in. <coughs> Amen. You were so foolish to give him anything. You ought to let him get a job and go to work. <laughs> that's what you ought to do. You paying him to go to hell? Because you're both going. What's that do? <laughs> According to this, both of you are going. Uh, not one of you. <laughs> Amen. Both of you are going. So they're not interested in your soul. They're not telling you about how to live. They're not telling you that. That doesn't interest them. Amen. They want a living. And if they can get a congregation and get a good living and bank money and live well, you can go to hell. Yeah. He's getting what he wants. Yeah. And that's when you know the folks in there living every rotten thing under the sun. Amen. Isn't that the truth? Amen. Rotten. Amen. My God, it's, it's, it's rotten. It is. To, 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 to be even mention the word Christian. That's true. Yeah. Don't you know the Bible says, let everyone that name, that call Jesus. That's the truth. Huh? Yeah. Let everyone that name the name of Christ depart from sin. Part. That's yeah. right. You got no business even calling his name. That's true. Living in sin. That's true. And don't have it in your mind to stop. Amen. The Bible says, let everybody That's that true. name the name of Christ yeah. depart, depart from sin. Depart from iniquity. That's what the Bible That's says. Going oh, around here talking about Christian. Somebody wrote me from off of some woman from a beautician bar. Want <laughs> to know why I condemn? Beautician father said, well, I, uh, you had a nice haircut. Well, I have Bible. Amen. Amen. Bible let, tells me to cut my hair. Does say so. Huh? Yeah. Because so it's a shame for me to have long hair. Amen. And to keep it from being long, I got to cut it. Amen. So I'm justified. Amen. And then she told me on the end of it, she fought to keep her beautician father. Well, her pastor wouldn't tell her about break up that thing because she's making money and can give a good offering. That's right. That he wants her to go to it. That's right. <laughs> he won't break up her business. No. Do that will break up his business. Yeah. Huh? Amen. He isn't bothering, but I'm watching for your soul. Amen. That's what I'm watching for. I'm watching for your soul. Amen. Amen. Not for your body. No. You don't get half enough to eat. Huh? You don't have but one dress. I had to pull it off and wash it. Like I used to have to do with my shirt. Didn't have but one. I had to pull it off and wash it and put it back on. But I lived holy. And if you don't have but one dress, it's better to pull it off and wash it and press it and put it back on. And be ready when Jesus comes. Amen. <laughs> My God, then they have bank run over and go to hell. Amen. I'm here for the interest of your soul. I'm not here seeking your money. Amen. 
First of all, if I wasn't interested in you, I'd be on my farm tonight. That's true. I have a lovely one. Plenty of riding horses. Amen. Sulkers and buggies and sheep and cows and everything. All kind of birds to look at. All kind of pheasant. I got seven uh, type of pheasant. Oh, it's a whole lot of folks don't know what a pheasant is. Amen. Praise the Lord. Some of them cost $70 a pair. Amen. They're wonderful. Everything. I could stay right there and forget about traveling to hide. Amen. That's right. You come and look at it and see I'm alive. Amen. But I forget I have it. Trying to reach you and you won't get away. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You know, tell my brother, tell my thousand, you'll never find a thousand like me. No. <laughs> Your number's too high. <laughs> thousand like me? Hey, Amen. I'm the only one you ever seen like this. <laughs> never heard nobody like me since you've been born. <laughs> And the credit is not to me. Understand that. I don't want you to give me credit for it. Because if it had not been for the Lord, I'd be just like anybody else. That's right. <laughs> but I say like Paul where yeah, off, I was made a made minister. That's right. By the effectual working <laughs> of, of his power, his power. Right. that worketh in me my yes. Yes. until I can't rest. Yes. Ever going. Amen. Amen. Ever going. Amen. Building churches. Spending thousands of dollars. Have everything ready. My group of men is in Pittsburgh now. And that's where I should have been this week. Remodeling a church and bought and home, parsonage and everything. Remodeling gonna cost thousands of dollars. I don't have a member in Pittsburgh. Not one member. <laughs> But I'm building the nest. Amen. 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 When they're six months ago and got a broadcasting station, dropping it in there yeah. every Sunday. Yeah. Amen. Dropping it in there. Yeah. Paying for it myself. Amen. When then bought the church and house on the corner of Bedford Avenue and Summer Street. Mm -hmm. My men there remodeling, getting it ready. Amen for dedication. I'll I'll be there. Yeah. Amen. When I get there, I'll upset Pittsburgh. Amen. <laughs> That's right. That's, That's right. The way. Yes, sir. Because the gospel is not in gospel Pittsburgh. Is not in Pittsburgh. Amen. Amen. My God, no stop to this thing. I'm not stopping. Amen. Amen. I'm reaching out in order that you might be saved. Amen. When you hear me and reject this, go home and stay forever Amen. until you die and go to hell. Because I'll declare unto you it's not another. Amen. Huh? Amen. Not another. So I said, if you're hungry, if you want it, anything you want, you'll get in the market for it. Yes, you will. Isn't that right? That's right. God just started looking up at the telephone director, huh? yes. watching the paper, watching signs. And everything, you're out for something. <clears throat> and if you're out for God, if you're in Italy, in Africa, and you're really out for God, hungering and thirsting after God, God will some way, somehow, yeah. send it to you. Send it to you. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. He'll get it to you. Yes, he either send it to you That's or right. bring you to it. Amen. I got a letter somehow, some woman in Sweden, Got a hold of uh, my address and name somehow. My God knows Lord, how. My Lord, Lord. Lord. In Sweden. My Lord. Wrote to me. Amen. I got a letter the other day. She said, I, I got to le your, your letter. I wrote back to her. Said, I got your letter. And said, I want to come to America. I want my, me and my son to come and be in your ship. My Lord. From Sweden. My Lord. Can you imagine? Oh, God, my God my says, my my yeah. 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 anybody hunger yeah. and thirst after rest. Yeah. Then he said again, if any man will, will to do his will, yeah. he shall know of the dark. Amen. Didn't he say, Didn't say so. Shall know. Shall know. My 
living God. You don't have to be ignorant. Amen. We've got a living God. Yes. Oh, yes, we've got a Amen. living God that is able and got to do exceeding yes. abundant. I have churches now in the British West Indies. Amen. There were some men over there hungry, thirsting for righteousness. And they came over in America. Amen. As they come over to work for a season. And these men were working in Jersey. And I was sending apples to the press to have cider made from my farm. And so something pressed me to go along with the boys one day to drive behind the trucks. And so I did. And when I got there, I met one of these men. And he be I began to talk to him. He was hungry and thirsting after truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. Accepted it and others with him. And through that, today I have churches, praise God, in the British West Indies. Amen. And others are writing to me, caring about me, and want to come and connect themselves with the whole truth. Amen. Surely God said right. Amen. Amen. If any man will to do his will, he shall know the dark. You mean to tell me folks setting right here under me? Amen. Under me. And there are thousands upon thousands would love to look in my face tonight. Amen. Amen. Yes, they would. Amen. Crying out from Canada, they want to be baptized in Jesus' name. And Mexico, old Mexico, want to be baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Indiana, amen. Arizona, and God only knows the places that is calling. Amen. Want to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Amen. Here yeah, they're longing for truth, and God sent truth. Amen. And here you set, set right here, where clothings are red. Yeah. Pool is full of water. Yeah. Somebody to baptize you. Yeah. Here I am in person. Yes. Bringing the truth of God, opening it up and backing it with the back. Amen. Then you get up and march out and try to find some excuse. Amen. My God, hell will be your portion forever. Amen. You're not rejecting me. Amen. You're not rejecting me. You're rejecting God's word. Amen. Huh? Amen. You're rejecting the one that is pumping breath through you. That's right. I got right now it's stop it, you go dead. That's true. Huh? That's right. You go dead right now. You'd be paralyzed right there where you sit. That's right. Huh? That's right. Couldn't move. Amen. You're not rejecting me. I didn't make you. Amen. You're rejecting God. Amen. I hear him say he created you. Yes. For his glory. Amen. Yes, said he. Amen. I have made them. Yeah. Eh? Amen. Created you for his glory. Yeah. Not for mine. He knew what he wanted. I had nothing to do with your coming here and my coming. Amen. Eh? Amen. Yeah. Amen. If you had children, you had nothing to do with it. Amen. Praise God. Many men, bless God, married, never had a child. Amen. Only God phoned it yeah. in the womb. Amen. God done the job. Amen. And it made you to live holy. Amen. And when you hear the word of God and reject it, amen, then hell will be your portion. Amen. amen. Along forever. So the Bible said, if any man will, my God, you don't have to fight with folk that wants to do God's will. No. You don't have to fight, bless God with nobody. That want to do right? No. You, you, they can't get in the water fast enough. Amen. Huh? Amen. Want to get in, waiting to get in, longing to get in. Oh, to God, amen, and will get in. Amen. Just want a half a chance. Yeah. Amen. 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 Want a half a chance. My God, we broke an ice, broke ice, and baptized for mm -hmm. Amen. Dead winter. Praise the Lord. I baptized them in Delaware River. In December, Amen. they wanted it. Stood around in a wet place. Thank God in December, waiting for the tide to come in. Walked down in Delaware. Amen. Baptized them in the name of Jesus. They wanted it. Yes. Anybody that want God, you can't stop him. No. Amen. You can't buy him. Amen. Huh? Amen. But hypocrites will find fault. Yes. All time, pick around. Yes. Find some that justify me yes. in not coming. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. He, he, he takes folks' money. Yes. He do this. He do that. He yes. do the other. Everything, and you're going to hell by the minute. Yes. That's only the devil. That's, all. That's only the devil. Amen. 
Jesus Christ said today, if you'll hear my voice, harden, harden not your heart. Amen. Isn't that? Yes, sir. Today, thank God today, if you'll hear my voice, then don't harden your heart. Harden your heart. And he said, if you be willing Amen. and obedient, yes. you shall eat the good of the land. Amen. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. Why? No, the mouth of the Lord said so. Amen. 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 God said you'll be devoured. Yes. So tonight the gospel is here. Yes. Amen. Come to you. Nobody have to obey. No. I God, but I've got to preach. It. Amen. 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 I've got to preach it because woe is me. Woe is me if I preach not the gospel. Amen. I've got to preach it. Everybody can reject it, but it's got to be preached. Amen. They rejected it in those days. Yes, it is. Well, I said it did. Yes, it is. My God, they rejected it. Done a nice job, too. Yes, it is. And then God done a nice job. Amen. 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 They both done a nice job. Amen. Amen. But his was better. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. They lift up the say was proud people. Yes. Full of the devil. Yes. Proud like they are now. Yes. Well, I wouldn't know, sir. So I wouldn't join now. I'd go to hearing. But I wouldn't know. I was too proud. Too proud. So that was, they said I wouldn't go in that thing. <laughs> too proud. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right. But no one didn't stop building, though. I think God, he kept it. Amen. Amen. By his woman of God. That's right. Yes. And he moved with faith. Amen. Amen. And he kept on building. Yes. They snubbed him and they... Saying everything, but he kept it. Yeah. After a while, God said, get in. All right. Get in. Yeah. And shut the door. And the floods came. And they all began to rise. Yeah. And they began to drown. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Now, God's not going to play with nobody. No. Man. Not going to beg you. No. Man. Said, whosoever will. That's right. Let him come. That's right. Yeah. Hmm? That's right. If you will to come to God, come on. Come on. If you don't, don't come. That's right. He's still God. Amen. He was God before He made us. Yeah. He was God before He made the heavens. Yeah. He was God before He made the earth. Amen. We haven't taken nothing from Him or had nothing. No, we haven't. Yet. No, we haven't. We just done it by His power and still God. Amen. He ain't weak and, and, and deformed. No. <laughs> that I made so many folks and tell that reason I'm like I am. <laughs> no, he ain't. Huh? <laughs> no. No. no, sir. He's God. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be God. Going to be God. Hallelujah to God. Amen. So that's up to you. You'll soon be lying in the dust. Yes. Yes, sir. You'll soon be down there. Yes. In the dust. Yes. Unconscious. Yes. Waiting for hell. Yes. That's what you want. Then you can get that. Amen. If you want this, you can get this. Amen. Amen. Choose this day. Choose whom you'll serve. Amen. If you want this, you can get it. Amen. They cried out for it. They, Peter didn't call for nobody. Amen. On the day of Pentecost, they cried out for it. Didn't they do it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. They cried out for it. Amen. Amen. They cried out to Peter. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah. And they, when, they were pricked, when they heard this, they were pricked in their when heart. When they heard this, I'm preaching, they got pricked. Yeah. On his heart, you know. Yeah. Then all of them get pricked, but on his heart. On his heart. Yeah. yeah. Got pricked. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. Got pricked. In their heart. So we ought to do that. Yeah. We ought to do that. We ought to live holy. Yeah. We ought to be baptized in Jesus. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We ought to get right. Yeah. He was pricked in their heart. And said unto Peter. And said unto Peter. And to the rest of the apostles. And to the rest of the apostles. Said to them. Men and brethren. Men and brethren. What shall we do? What shall we do? Then Peter said unto what them. What shall we do? Men and brethren. What shall we do? Ask him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you'd ask me tonight. I asked about ten and folk get up and walk out. Yeah. But these folks asked Peter what and the rest of the priests. Yeah. Men and brethren, what shall we do? What shall we do? Yeah. What shall we do? What he said? Repent. Then Peter said unto them. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. For the remission of sin. For the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift and of the Holy Ghost. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Read on. For the promises unto you. For the promises to you. And to your children. And to your children. And to all that are far off. All that are far off. Even as many as even the Lord as our God shall call. As the Lord our God shall call. 
They don't. And with many other words that he testify and, and exhort them. With many them, other words that he testify and exhort them. Saying, save yourself save this your, underwood generation. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you tonight, you break off your sin. Stop them tonight. Yes. Amen. You're living with that woman, don't go back there no more. Amen. Amen. Right. Want to know what happened till I got baptized last night? Amen. I'm going to get the Holy Ghost and break off my sin. Yes. Amen. Living with the man, don't go back. Amen. 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 Don't go back there. I'm telling you the best thing. Amen. Amen. What shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Peter said, Repent, and be baptized. Be baptized. Every one of, Every you, one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name Christ, of Jesus Christ. While the mission is saved. I came one night, I was preaching, telling the folk, Save yourself. Yes. Yeah. From this underwood generation. Amen. Preaching it in my sleep. Yes. Yeah. My God is a wonderful thing when God use a man for the salvation of souls. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. thing is not of me. Amen. This thing is of God. Amen. And that is working in me in my sleep. Yes. Eh? Amen. Peter said what? Repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of in Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. For the remissions of, remission of your sins. And you shall receive and your gift of the That's the only gospel it is. Amen. All these other churches are nothing but false churches and hell bound. Amen. But all the preachers and deacons and members hell bound. Amen. Don't have no Bible behind the church. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. But this is Bible. Amen. My God, this is the thing that broke out when the church of the Lord Jesus Christ first started. First started. On the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem Amen. in A.D. 33. Amen. This is the church. Amen. Thank God. And Peter said, Amen. Repent. Amen. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin. And you and shall receive, shall receive the, Holy the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise for the promises to you and to your children. And, your children. and to all that and to are all that is afar off. Even as many as the Lord even our God shall call. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words. And with that many other words. And exhausting. Like I'm doing tonight, I'm yeah. exalting you with many, many other words. Many other words. Am I not? That's right. Mm -hmm. Exalting you. Yes. And telling you. Save yourself. Save yourself. From this underwood generation. Save yourself from hell. Yes. Save yourself. Walk out tonight. Yes. My God, if you stay here a hundred years from the day, save yourself. Save yourself. Oh, what is a hundred years to eternity? <laughs> eh? no, save know. yourself. Don't let the devil have no victory no more. Amen. My God, save yourself Amen. from the generation that is going down to a devil's hell. Amen. Save yourself from this underwood generation. Amen. Is that what he said? Save yourself. Save yourself, and I'm telling you the same thing. Amen. All right? Then they that gladly receive Then the they that say, well, we're going to do what you told us. Yeah. Eh? Then they that gladly they that gladly received his word. Gladly received his word. Got baptized. Got baptized. And the same didn't get up and walk out, but got baptized. Got baptized. And we're going to teach you advice. We're going to save our sin. Yes. Eh? Amen. From this generation that is going down to our devil's head. Amen. I know you don't want to go. Nobody in here wants to go. No. Oh, you see me ask you to raise your hand. <laughs> Because nobody in the middle no. tonight wants to go to hell. No. I know you don't want to go. No. Amen. But you might as well want to go. I said. If you reject what I'm preaching. Amen. All right. You might as well stand up and say, yes, I'm going. <laughs> you get the thought? That's right. Okay. Amen. Nobody wants to go to hell. But the devil show you a way out. Yes. Yeah. God is merciful. Yes. Yeah. You, you have a chance. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody say you're saved between the stirp and the ground. Mm -hmm. And the Bible don't say it. No. That's a lie the devil told you. Yeah. Huh? The Bible says repent. That's right. <laughs> and be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name That's what the Bible says. Right. The Bible says repent. Not you'll be saved between the stirp and the ground. So. But the Bible says repent, repent and be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name in of In Jesus' name. For the, for the remissions of your sin. And you shall and receive, you shall the, receive gift of the, the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's what God teaches. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Amen. Now they that gladly received his, received word. his word. Were baptized. Got baptized. 
Did you hear that? Amen. How plain that is. Yeah. Got baptized. Amen. Huh? Amen. All right. And the same day. And the same day, not that same week. Same day. Or the same month. But the same day. Same day. Listen how many got baptized. Same. Far more than what's in here. Yeah. Far more than what's in here. Yeah. My God, about six or seven times as many people as in here Amen. got baptized that day. Amen. Listen. And the same day. And the same day. They were added unto them about 3,000 souls. <laughs> 3,000 souls obeyed that. Yes. Amen. And went down in Jesus' name. Amen. And was filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. That day. That day. My God, it must have been something going on in Jerusalem. Amen. Huh? That's right. 3,000 souls talking in tongues. Yes. Hallelujah, God. Yeah, right. That's where the church of the Lord Jesus Christ starts. Yes. Amen. All these other things, bless God, they call themselves the church. Amen. Is nothing but faith. Amen. Amen. Nothing but faith. So you got into the faith. Yes. Amen. And you got in because you didn't want to live right. Amen. Some people that in it now won't come out. That's true. After they hear me. That's right. You know they don't mean that. No. And if on the word, hear me and then go to a false church, after they hear me, you don't mean a thing. No. <laughs> Couldn't mean that. No. Huh? I showed you by the Bible, it's all in vain. Amen. And then you get up and go on there now. It's because your spirit ain't right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Your spirit, you're not right. I don't care what you think, you're not right. No. You can't be right. No. You hear the word of God preached over and up and made plain. Then you're going to get up and go to a false church, set on a false prophet. He, he don't know nothing about the truth. No. He don't know a thing about the truth. And if you would tell him about this, you'd see that old wolf run out from under that blanket. Amen. <laughs> the one that Jesus had to come to you in sheep. Uh, come and she to all, he come all great down and can't hardly stand straight. He's so religious. Yeah. But you put the word to him. <laughs> that old roof will come out from under that thing. <laughs> See, don't he start the fighting? Right. Fighting the back. <laughs> Then you can tell what he is. Amen. Huh? That's right. Anytime a man opens his mouth against the word of God, you can tell he's a devil. That's right. Has to be. Oh, there's God. Nobody in the world would speak evil. No. No humor. And he's got under the sun that have an evil thing to say. No. About the name Jesus or the word of God. Amen. When the Bible says a uh, thing is that. That is. Yeah, what how they heard it is touch is that. That's right. Yeah. Huh? That's right. It's that. Yeah. Hey Amen. And you can't tell. No, you can't tell. <laughs> Now you're going to be, you're going to represent God and fight his word? <laughs> you're God's ambassador and fighting his word? No, that's a lie. The <laughs> huh? Bible says, he whom God sent will speak, will speak to speak the word of God. Yeah. 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 Amen. He that God sent, look out. Look out, that's right. My God, they have had 400 lives. Yeah. But God hadn't sent them. That's right. And they all lied. Yeah. Amen. God had one man there, Micaiah. Micaiah. Huh? That's right. I want to call on Micaiah and told him what the others had said. Said, now you go there, Micaiah, and let your words be like them. Yeah. And Micaiah said, as the Lord liveth, and as my soul liveth, whatever God said, that's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> that's right. In the sense so? Oh, say so. As the Lord liveth, and as my soul liveth, what the Lord says, I speak that. That's what I say. I got and they went up there and spoke it to him. Yes, he did. Sent him on back to prison, but he spoke. He spoke. All he had to say, just keep him in prison till I come in peace. Yes. But he had spoke he the, had word. the word. And he said to him, if you return at all in peace, said, God hasn't spoken back. Amen. All he had went up there and died. Mm -hmm. Didn't get that. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. He whom God sent will speak the word of God. Word of God, God has to send these lies. No. Hear me, folks. Hear me. And if you don't want this, then you stay home. Denounce that damnable thing. Amen. Denounce it. Make a full end. Amen. Tell him you don't have nothing and I don't have nothing. Amen. Or you'll be paying you to go to hell. Tell him to his teeth. Amen. Tell the false prophet. The liar, the thief, yeah. the robber. Yeah. Huh? Amen. 
what Jesus called him. Yes, it is. If any man said, I am the door by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Amen. But if it turn up any other way, he said, he's a thief, thief and robber. And a robber. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Thief and robber. All right. We're going back to 10th chapter Acts. I want to show you what honest folks will do. Amen. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius. Listen at this now. A certain man, an honest man. In Caesarea, he was called Cornelius. A centurion of the band called the Italian band. Yes. A devout man and yes. one that feared God with all his heart. He feared God. Right. This was a God-fearing man. Mm -hmm. And if you fear God, you'll obey this gospel. Mm -hmm. Paul says, uh, unto you that fear God. Yes. Yeah. Is the word of this salvation sent? Amen. See? Yeah. As you fear God, this word come to you. That's right. And you'll obey. Amen. If you don't fear God, you'll trample it on the foot. Amen. All right. A devout man. A devout man. One that feared God. One that feared house. God with all his house. Gave much arms to the Gave people. Gave much arms to the people. Prayed to God all. And prayed to God all the time. He saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day. Yes. An angel of God coming into him and saying, to Cornelius. This was an honest man. Yes. Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, what is it, Lord? And God had this written so you and I could hear it. Yeah. All right. And he said, thy, arm, thy prayers and thine arms are come up for a memorial before God. Yeah. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. Yeah. He lodges in one Simon a Tanner, whose house is by the seaside. Mm -hmm. He shall tell thee what thou ought to do. Did you hear that? God said, Cornelius, Cornelius contacted heaven. Yeah. And then God told him where his preacher was. Where his preacher was. Because God knew Cornelius didn't know. Amen. But God knew. Amen. Now, if you're honest in the heart, regardless of where you're at in the world, if you contact heaven, heaven will contact me. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's written there. Isn't it? Amen. What did he tell him? Your prayers is heard. Yeah, now send men to Joppa. Send men to Joppa. And call for one. Son. Send them where? To Joppa. Joppa. God said, I know where he is. Yeah. He's down there in Joppa. That's right. And he's lodging with one, Simon, Simon of Tanner. God knew who he was lodging with. Yeah. And he knew where the one he was lodging with lived. That's right. Huh? That's right. By the sea. By the sea, sir. Thank God is too plain. Yes. Yeah. All right. He shall tell thee what thou ought to do. Said Peter will tell you what you ought to do. When you contact me, I'll tell you what you ought to do. Amen. Huh? Amen. He'll tell you what thou ought is to do. Amen. I'm telling you tonight what you ought to do. Amen. You won't do it, but I'm telling you. Yeah. And once I tell you, you're a harpoon forever. Amen. All right. And when the angel which spake unto Cornelius was departed. When the angel which spake unto Cornelius was departed. He called two of his household servants. And done what? He found soldiers of them that waited on him continue. And when he had declared all these things unto them, he sent them to Joppa. He sent them to Joppa. Peter come on back from Joppa, preached the gospel to them. Read the 40th verse. 44th verse, 40th verse, hear this. And we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews. He and said, we are witnesses of all things that he done in the land of the Jews. And in Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem. Whom they slew and hanged on they the tree. They him and they hanged him on the tree. Him God raised up God the raised him up the third day and showed him open. Not witnesses. to everybody, but under witnesses. Showed him before, before God, God, even to us who did eat and even drink with us him. who ate and drank After he him. rose from the dead. After he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people. Yes. And to testify that it is he which is ordained of God. Yes. To be judge of quick and dead. Yes. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name whosoever believeth in him should receive remission of sin. All right. While Peter yet spake these words. While Peter was preaching. The Holy Ghost called all them which heard the word. They got the Holy Ghost while Peter was preaching. And they are so the honest. Yeah. Amen. You hear that? Amen. So honest. They got the Holy Ghost. Open hearted. Yeah. Amen. Wasn't sitting down and didn't want to turn loose sin. <laughs> want to go back and sin more. But it was open hearted. Yeah. Amen. And while Peter was preaching the gospel, God filled him with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Then what? And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished. The Jews was astonished that the Gentiles with Peter got because the Holy of the Gentiles also was poured out to get to the Holy This is why the Gentiles got it. Amen. The first time they got it. Amen. Amen. The Jews got it first. Amen. The Gentiles got it next. Amen. Now the Gentiles now got the Holy Ghost and the Jews that came down from Joppa with Peter was astonished Amen. that the Gentiles got the Holy Ghost Amen. because they counted them dull. Amen. Didn't know it was for them, Amen. but it's for everybody. Amen. All right. 
speak. And for they heard them speak with tongues. They heard them speak with tongues. And magnified and God. And magnified God. Then answered Peter. Then answered Peter. Can any man forbid water? Can any man forbid water? That these should not be can baptized. Can any man water? forbid water that these should not be baptized? Which I received the Holy Ghost. Which I received the Holy Ghost as well as we. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. And the Lord's name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. You get the thought? On his heart. Amen. Nobody will have no excuse. No one in the world, if you're living today with this with this gospel here, you ought to know about it. Amen. If you don't know about it, something wrong with you. Amen. Amen. The fault's in you. Amen. Praise God. Not in God, but it's in you. Amen. Amen. All right. Now, I have some questions here to answer. And uh, you that are honest, you that want it, if you want it, accept it. If you don't want it, then don't take it. But thank God it's preached to you. Somebody want to know about the Sabbath day. Well, the Sabbath day is not to be kept in this dispensation. Jesus fulfilled that when he came. You see, he's better than the day. He said he was Lord of the Sabbath. In other words, he was over the Sabbath, above the Sabbath. Therefore, when you get him, you don't have to get the day now. You got him. Amen. He was that rest that the Sabbath day pointed to. The Sabbath was only a type. Amen. Just a type and a shadow of the real thing that came. Amen. And that real thing was Jesus. Jesus said in the 11th chapter of Matthew and the 27th verse, Come unto me, all ye that labor, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Jesus will give you rest now. Yes. Amen. They had a natural day for rest, but they're pointing to the rest that was coming in Him. Yes. Now He came, and you don't keep no more Sabbath, no. and you can't find it. And I defy the Sabbath day keeper. If you're here, I defy it. And you better not say nothing, because I'll cover you up quick. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 And not say nothing about your Sabbath day. You better keep it quiet. Yes. Yeah. Now, nobody can talk. <laughs> now, that devil went through the world and deceived everybody, just mixed up folk. Yeah, because they exactly. know it wasn't no preacher. No, that's right. Nobody able to open up the Bible and pick it apart and give the folk the truth. No. And he just went through and made folk do everything wrong. Yeah. Stop them from eating pork. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Certain meats can't eat. Yeah. I'll Amen. We got meat of saints. Yes, Saturday keepers, but you'd better not to stand up tonight. Amen. And wait until I leave town. <laughs> then talk and nobody will believe. <laughs> huh? That's what I ought not to believe. Amen. Don't bring your Sabbath here. Yeah, don't bring nothing. I can pick up the subjects of the Bible. Yes, you can. I pick up all of them. Yes. And open them up. Yes. And then make them plain. Yes. And if I find anybody that contradict what I say. Amen. Because I know what I'm talking. Amen. I mean, God made me to know. Amen. Uh, I'm a Bible analyst. Yes. Uh, I know what I'm talking. Amen. I mean, God made me to know. Amen. Uh, I'm a Bible analyst. Yes. Uh, in other words, I analyze the Bible and tell you what's in it. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, these false prophets, all of them preach lies. Yes. Yeah. That's all. Can you imagine that? Every last one of them preach lies. Yes. Every one. Every one of them. Every one of them. Every one. Every one of them. Preach lies. Every one of them. And at night I defy to stand behind the doctor. Amen. I defy creation. What he called God. Amen. God didn't send No, he didn't. When I was a money hunter. Yes. Use of the devil to see himself. Keep the Sabbath. God never told nobody. Amen. He broke it himself. Yes, he did. When he got here. Yes, he did. Yes. Took his disciple and went in the combs here. Yes. <laughs> on the side. On the side. Pulling combs. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Yeah, That's right. Amen. Hey, he knew what he was doing. Yes. Yeah. And God healed a man on the side. Yes. Yeah. Then told him to take up his furniture. Yes. Yeah. And carry it yeah. through the street. Yeah. Yeah. On the side. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it was nothing to it. Huh? Man, they said, what are you doing? Turn that bed here. Don't you know it's the Sabbath? 
Now, he that healed me told me to tell you the truth. <laughs> God, he that told me to take it out. Amen. He who made me get off and then give me strength to take it out yes. and go home with it. Yes. Amen. And it was all over. Jesus didn't teach no Sabbath. The apostles didn't teach no, none. No. The Sabbath was only taught in one dispensation, and that was the fifth. Now, don't contradict me. <laughs> you do I make you fine by it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. One, one Saturday, keeper told me one Saturday, why I kept the Sabbath in Genesis? I said, give me back. Find it. He said, it's in Genesis. I said, find it. It's in there. I said, find it. Where is it at? Say, you read Genesis. I said, what chapter? Read Genesis. I said, I got to read the whole book. <laughs> he couldn't find it. No. Sabbath was kept across the said, God rest. Call it the seven day and rest. <laughs> God rest. Yeah. Because he had done something. But man hadn't done nothing to rest. What? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 Man hadn't done nothing. <laughs> he didn't need to rest. Man ain't done nothing. Amen. Well, he was free. Somebody ain't done nothing to him. I'm going to rest. <laughs> hey, rest. <laughs> he hadn't done nothing. He was just me. Yeah. When God, that was the last thing God made. Amen. Yeah. He wasn't even tired sitting around waiting for God to make everything. <laughs> God made everything and made him laugh. Yeah. Then God rest. Yeah. He hadn't done that. No. God didn't tell even Adam to remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. No, he didn't. I dare anybody to say so. No, he didn't. Amen. I dare anybody to say so. Keeping the Sabbath in this distance. Yeah. Amen. It was only kept in one. One. First, second, third, fourth. Amen. Wasn't kept. Abraham didn't know nothing about no Sabbath. No. Jacob didn't know nothing about no, no Sabbath. No. Huh? No. Well, certainly not. No. Sabbath come in the fifth distance. Yeah. 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 Closed out when John got here. Yeah. Law and the prophets was until John. Until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached. Yeah. Amen. Jesus come on and went in the cones here. Yes, he did. I got the caught a man holding stick. Yeah. under the law when it was keeping the Sabbath he was holding the sticks on the Sabbath day mm -hmm. hadn't broke them or struck the mat mm -hmm. but just holding them mm -hmm. and Moses caught him and, uh, and I said put him in prison and asked God what must I do to him God said kill him <laughs> that same God said kill him yeah. then that God come on down yeah. when he wiped out that dispensation yeah. and put on a body and come on down here and broke it himself yeah. but the thing had changed that's right <laughs> that's right damn it Amen. They don't know what they're talking. They don't know nothing. I'm telling you, none of them know. <coughs> World full of false prophets. Don't know nothing about the truth. Amen. Now, uh, somebody wants uh, me to explain the fourth chapter of John and the first verse. You see, the devil takes you to scriptures that he knows you don't understand. Yes, yeah, sir. And right there he tricked you. Starts you going wrong and believing a lie. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, read the first verse. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, though Jesus himself baptized not but his disciples, Amen. he left Judea and departed again into Galilee. Now, uh, the Bible says when the Lord knew, somebody said the Lord didn't know. Oh, yeah. He knew before the world was made. Knew about the same thing. When don't, it, it, it doesn't say at the time he knew. No. It just says when he knew. When he knew. <laughs> That's the mystery. Amen. Heard that the Pharisees said that Jesus baptized more disciples than John, yet Jesus baptized not but his disciples. That means he baptized none but his disciples. Because his disciples didn't baptize nobody no. while he was here. Didn't nobody baptize but John. That's right. Some people say, well, Jesus didn't baptize nobody, say, but his disciples did. His disciples didn't baptize nobody. No. A day to tell them. <laughs> A day. Amen. <laughs> They didn't baptize nobody. Amen. Jesus baptized his disciples. And that scripture means that he baptized none no, but his disciples. Give like me the third chapter of John, 22nd verse. Uh, uh, after, the, after these things, 
After these things came Jesus, came Jesus and his disciples and his disciples into the land of Judea. Into the land of Judea. And there he tarried with them. And there he tarried with his disciples. And baptized. And baptized his disciples. Yeah. <laughs> He baptized his disciples. Amen. Himself. That's right. Huh? Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> and they came unto him. That's the reason Peter was able to say on the day of Pentecost, repent. Repent. And be baptized. Amen. Every one of them. Every one of them. Yeah. Why? Because he had got it. He had got it. Bible says the husband man that labors must be first. Yes. Don't say so. Don't say so. Peter had been up there preaching baptism in Jesus' name and hadn't had it himself. He'd been the biggest hypocrite ever walked through that. That's right. But he got it from Jesus. Got it from Jesus. Because he took his disciples and went into the land of Judea. Yeah. And there he tallied with them and baptized. And baptized. Amen. Amen. So that's what that scripture means. He baptized none but his disciples. Somebody writes here about foot washing and it doesn't make it plain. But you speak something about uh, it's, it being a proverb, wash, foot washing. Amen. And foot washing is a reality. Yes, it is. You understand that? <laughs> foot washing is a reality and you better wash your feet. Amen. <laughs> Somebody said to me and said, well, what about a man who don't have no feet? But he better set up there and believe it. Yes. Amen. <laughs> He ain't got no feet. He better set up there with dumb nubs and believe it. Amen. While others that have feet watch him, he say, Amen. Amen. I'd do it too if I had any. Amen. The devil tries to be smart to get away. Jesus said he took an example, made an example. Yes. Took a towel and girded himself. Yes. Pulled water in the basin. In a basin. And washed the disciples' feet. Yes. Came to Peter and Peter said, You'll never wash my feet. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, If I wash thee not, shall I have no part with me. Uh -huh. Peter said, Not my feet only, but my head and my hand. Yes. Jesus washed the feet and sat down and took his robe and then he said, yeah, you call me Lord and Master. You call me so Master, I am. Lord, so say well, Amen. for I am. You say well, for so I am. Well, if, if I, I then, your Lord, Lord and Master, Master, have washed your have feet, have washed your feet. You have ought, me also ought to wash one another's you feet. You ought also wash one another's feet. <laughs> for I have given you an example. For I have given you an example that you should do. You should do as I have done to you. As I have done to you. Did you hear that? Amen. That's like he washed the feet with natural water. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 You better wash one another's feet. That's right. Yeah. Don't he say, hell will be your portion. Yeah. Anytime he say you won't have no pot with me, that don't mean you're going to Florida. No. <laughs> that means you're going to hell. Yeah. First Timothy 2 5. For neither at any time used we flattering words. Oh, sorry. First Timothy 2 5. For there is one God. And well, one, there is one God and one mediator and one mediator between God and men. There they go again. <laughs> no. Now what am I going to say? I'm going to say there is one God. Yes. And the mediator makes two. No, no. Oh, no. Is that what you read? No. Don't read like that. What is that? There is one God. There is one God. And one mediator. And one mediator. Between God and men. But let's leave it like that. That's right. <laughs> the man Christ Jesus. We're coming back now and say it's one God. Yeah. Mediator. Yeah. And you see that old carnal mind figuring out something. Yeah. There must be two. Then now that's two. Jesus was the mediator said. Yeah. And said so that's him. There's God. Mm -hmm. Apart from him. Mm -hmm. That's the old carnal mind. But the Bible don't say that. No. The Bible says there is one God and one mediator yeah. between God and man. Yeah. The man Christ Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> huh? uh -huh. That old mind is working, working like 500 now, trying to get two. Yeah. At least. Yeah, two. At least two. <laughs> Amen. That mediator that hung between God and man was God's flesh. That's right. Body. The body. Body. When he went to the cross, he come out of that body. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, God come out of the body. God come out. God come out of the body. When he was in the flesh, you heard him, you heard him. 
It said I have power yeah. to lay down my life. Yeah. Out of it. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So I got power to lay it down. Mm-hmm. So that's what he put it on. Yeah. That's why he went to Mary and got it. Mm-hmm. Without any man having anything to do with it. Right. So it could be spotless. Mm-hmm. I'm blameless. Sufficient. Yeah. Fully sufficient and able. Yeah. To redeem us. Yeah through the blood shed from that body yeah. and give us power to go back to the holy state yeah. that we lost yeah. in the Garden of Eden yeah. through the disobedience of Eve and Adam. Right. Yeah. So God came and his body was his son. That's right. And he had on his son. That's right. And his son, the body was the mediator. That's right. That hung between the each oh, other's spirit when, when he got out of it. Right. And the human son. That's right. Shedding blood. Yeah. For he had gotten out. Yeah. And left the daddy die. Yeah. Because if he hadn't got out it, he couldn't have died. Couldn't have died. But he said, I got power to lay down my lay life. Down. Didn't it? Did say so. And I got power to take it again. Right. He said, no man takes it from me. No man takes it from me. Oh, really God. Amen. Didn't he say, say so? He said, I laid down on myself. On myself. Amen. And then he told him, said, when he had it on, said, it started this temple. Started this temple. Says, in three days, I raised I'll it up raise again. It up. Huh? That's right. So when he went to the cross, it came out of the body. Yeah. And left the body hanging there. They took it and put it in the tomb. Yeah. That was the mediator. That's the mediator. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's right. And no two Johnsons up here. No. That's Johnson's talk. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Amen. 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 That's Johnson's coat. That's right. But it's between me and you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Isn't it? That's right. Oh, no, Amen. 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 Not two Johnson. No. But one Johnson. One Johnson. But Johnson's coat is between. Johnson and you. That's right. And that's where God's body was. God's body hung between him. Yeah. Pacifying. Yeah. To keep him from destroying courage. Yeah. When he put on that body and fixed it up and hung it up there, praise God, that was his pacifier. Pacifier. Thank God. And instead of giving him wrath, he gave him mercy. Give him mercy. And said, come unto me. Come unto you. Glory to God. Huh? Yeah. Everyone that believes in the work of the cross. That was done, even though you wasn't here. Yeah. Didn't see him hanging on the cross, but you believe it was done. Yeah. Holy God, it pacifies his anger. Yeah. And it said, though your sin be as God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Though your sin be as God. Be as scarlet. They yeah. shall, be, they shall be quite as snow. Yes. Red like crimson. I'll make them like wood. Yes. Hallelujah to God. Huh? Yes. That was the mediator. Yes. The Bible says there's a mediator, but the body was the mediator. His flesh That's right. that prevented his wrath. Yeah. Thank God, then that body is appearing right now, right now. in heaven. Yeah. Amen. He's looking on. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, every time you get called from your heart, yeah. Jesus, yeah. then he, he's got to pull out something. Yeah. Because that body that he put here, yeah. thank God, and walked away from here, yeah. it was done. It's appearing Appeal. in his presence. His presence. Well, you and I. You and, I that's right. and we call him. Yeah. Oh, that this body prepared. prepared. Amen. For me to get. Yeah. Every one that does it, yeah. you'll get to think. Amen. That's the media. That's the media. No two. No. Devil is a liar. Amen. Praise God. And when he hung it there and all the blood shed out of that body, praise God for you and I, then he put it on. Yes. Yes. Went on down to the grave and got it and glorified. Yes, he did. And gave that body the same glory that the spirit had. Yeah. Amen. Before the world was made. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Put it on. Walked about here. Yes, he did. In that body. Ready to go. Yeah. Then he stepped on the trackless hat. Yeah. And went on up there. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Thank God. Amen. Waiting then out of Come on back. Yeah. And then the angels told Peter and then that same Jesus yeah. that is taken out. Yeah. It's coming back. Yeah. In like now. Yeah. As you've seen him go. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amen. That was the mediator, his body. Don't contradict me. Somebody want to know why they're driving your car if you pick up someone and they are smoking. Are you supposed to stop and put them out? No. <laughs> Just tell him to put the cigarette out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can still can, but tell him to put the cigarette out. Don't care both of them. Somebody want to know, would like to know is it a sin for us saints to wear print dresses or dresses with different colors?
kinds of flowers or designs. You should wear something in keeping with your salvation. Amen. Not a whole lot of different colors. Amen. And different designs and flowered and all that kind of thing. Amen. Get something plain. Amen. Something that is serviceable. White or gray or black. Solid. Some solid color. Amen. A whole lot of brothers wear so many different tone ties. Amen. I didn't a lot. A whole lot of three and four different tones. Amen. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like we have to offer our bodies a living sacrifice. And they should be just as plain as possible. Plain. Amen. In keeping with what we believe. Yes. 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 Lord don't like a whole lot of adding up, bad addition. When the children of Israel praised God come out of the land of Egypt, the bread that they ate was unleavened. Didn't have no leaven in it. Amen. And that represented the word. And then when we get the word, we don't want a whole lot of mixture. No. Mixture nothing. Amen. A whole lot of tones, different tones. Some people wear two-tone shoes. Amen. Three-tone, black toe and brown up to the top and white between. <laughs> Amen. That isn't for saints. Amen. Saints should be modest. Huh? Yes. Amen. Modest. 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 In everything. Amen. In everything. Quiet. Sober. Yes. Huh? Yes. Amen. Sober. Quiet. Not a whole lot of uh, talking. Laughing. That don't become saints. Amen. That isn't for saints. That's for folks that don't know God. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Don't do that. that. That doesn't belong to you. But you are to be sober, sober-minded yes. people. Amen. Don't let your voice be too loud. It's not nice. You're representing the Christ. Huh? And certainly we ought to have all the very best of behavior. Is that right? Amen. The very best of behavior. Why, look who we are representing. Amen. Representing God, the Savior of the world. He is not to be in the streets giggling and laughing on, in the home, cutting up and carrying on. Amen. No, that isn't for us. Amen. Amen. But to be sober. Hmm? Amen. Use gravity. Gravity. Amen. Sedate. Quiet. Amen. Speak just loud enough for the one you're talking to. To hear you. Don't talk to those folks upstairs can hear you. Outdoors. That, that isn't nice for saints. Amen. The Bible speaks of women being of a quiet. Yeah. A meek, don't it say so? Amen. And quiet, quiet spirit. Yes. Which is in the sight of God. Great great price. Great price. Huh? Yes. Representing. Amen. Amen. Gravity. Gravity. Praise the Lord. Vigilant. Wakeful. Watchful. Observant. Huh? Yes. Amen. Watch all the time. Jesus said what? Amen. Not allowed. Time sometimes is dismissed while you can't hear your ear. Folks started breaking out. Everybody got a different conversation. Come forgot the word. That's the devil. Amen. Ought to hold it and meditate on it. Amen. Huh? Amen. Be quiet. Bible speaks of women being quiet. Yes. Meek and quiet spirit. Yes. In the sight of God of great strength. Not allowed. Amen. Laughing and tying on and that, that isn't for saying. Amen. Amen. I don't get tickled once a year. I ain't got nothing to get tickled about. I mean, all these folk going to hell. All this trouble in the world. Nothing to laugh about. Amen. Don't get tickled too quick. Bible says, woe unto them that laugh now. Huh? Amen. Don't be tickled too quick. Praise the Lord. Stay in meditation. These things is good for you if you'll do what it takes. Amen. And the Bible speaks of gravity at what it means. Mm -hmm. Amen. Serious. Serious. Amen. About what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. Hmm? That's right. Amen. When you're serious about what you're doing, you'll do your best. All right. Now, I brought to you again God's Word. Made it plain to you that you might be saved. Now, if it's anybody here, or as many who would like to obey, would like to obey the Word of God. Break off your sins now. 
and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ that you might be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. If you're here and want it, and know when you see, and you can have it.